Hi, this is Louise from Timekeeper Crafts. I just wanted to share a little journal I'm making, I made for a customer. Uh, she's placed a couple of orders with me and I thought it would be nice for her to get something as a thank you in return. I mean, after all, she's giving to everybody else and I think it's her turn. So I made her this little journal and I put some dangles on the side and she can actually remove this if it's in her way. And I'm calling this the little moments because I think she needs to learn to relax and enjoy life. And I've just made a cluster of different embellishments. The tie here is just some cotton that I tea dyed. And the image on the front is the same as this one here. It's the call of the swing and it explains how one day somebody decided to just swing and relax. This is a letter I wrote to her to explain what a junk journal is because I don't think she's ever had one or seen one probably. So I just wanted her to understand what it's all about. I made this little clip here that can be removed. And this one as well. And this one here is a little heart with her birthstone on it. There's pockets and papers and everywhere throughout the book. And I left the strings because I find that when I'm holding the book, I kind of play with the strings, so it's kind of a relaxing part of this tactile experience, so I just left them there. This is a little matchbook notebook, so she can write little secrets to herself in there and hide them away. And again, there's a bobble on here. And all through the book, I've put quotes about friendship. They're all in French because she is French. And I've just added some tabs made out of ribbon. More little quotes and poems. I've used different kinds of papers as well. Just I like the textile, the tactile of all these books. Um, more satin ribbon and lace. Plenty of little notes for her to write messages on and to journal. Again, more quotes and these cute little images. Doily, more papers. And I made this little, don't remember what the pinwheels, pinwheel pin that holds everything into place. Another tag on this side. And I've done some stamping throughout as well. I have some stamping up stamps that I used in here. And this is just an envelope. It's a piece of paper that's folded into an envelope and inside there's an old document, but she can use the the back to journal with. And she can also quote, put quotes or journaling on there as well. And I sewed some trims on here. Now I'm not a seamstress by any means, so my lines aren't straight and my sewing machine doesn't always cooperate. This is from Nick the Booksmith. I had a free download and she, these little pockets that you can put little messages in. And I learned to make these dangles online as well. And when I find the names, I'll put the names of whoever I learned some from. This is a recipe for friendship in French. And then this one here is something that was shared with me recently in a, another order that I, another book that I made. And I thought it was so beautiful that I decided that it belonged in this book as well. And there's little calendars for her to write on. More paper and quotes. Tuck spots. Again, I think that's from Nick the Booksmith. Oh, could be ephemeris. Ephemeris Garden, Wendy, Tracy, Nick the Booksmith. These are all people I watch and totally enjoy their videos. Their talent is incredible. And this one here has another little pink piece of paper folded inside that she can write a note in with a message or journal entry. And it goes into this little bow clip. And again, some more stamping. More papers. This is kind of interesting feel, this one. Like I said, it's the tactile experience, I think, that I enjoy the most about the journals. This is a spot for her to do a selfie with a little Polaroid frame in there. 
more blank paper, a little fence that I cut out with my scan and cut machine, more stamping, ribbon and lace and buttons, a little belly band here, and at one point I was making all kinds of these little embellishments. I might have to get back into that and use up all the little scraps I have lying around. More stamping, and again the seal. Another pocket over here. More quotes, more stamping, beautiful little image. And again, these these papers are things I'd bought and I'd bought at Michael's. They come in a pad, and so there's the middle of the signature and more soft satiny ribbons. And these cute little feathers that are made out of washi tape. They're, uh, they're not perfect. They were my first ones, but I thought, oh well, why not put them in? And she was born in October, so I included that little picture. Okay, and this is a heart that is folded in two, so, and I sewed it on. As you can see, my sewing isn't perfect, but that's fine. And there's a tuck spot in here, another paper clip. And then I made a pocket on the back so that or an envelope that she can tuck stuff in. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If I can help you with anything, just give me a send me a message. Thank you very much. Bye.